This was incredible for multiple reasons, and not just the finish. Had that finish not have happened, we're still having the same dialogue over here right now that that was an incredible contest. Aside from the entertainment factor and aside from the respect that both guys earned and deserve, there was some techniques in that bout that if you are a young fighter, you must go back and watch, okay? Because I have never seen them before, and I have been in this business since 1995 and competitively since 1997. I don't know of anybody... I don't know if anybody's still competing at a meaningful level that can date themselves back as far as me. And I'm very proud of that factor. But the point, I've seen it all. When are you ever going to hear Chael say, oh, I saw saw something I'd never seen before. I saw two things I'd never seen before in one fight. Look, that elbow that finished the fight, I've never seen that before. I will spend zero amount of my time left in this sport working on that technique. That's not for me. That is a rare, we've talked about this with Yarir before. Yarir is a video game character. He is doing moves that I've never seen in the practice room or in competition. I have only seen it in video games. But this technique that he finished was was one of them. So good for him, and I'm not going to begin to break it down. Was it a lucky shot, a train shot? We'll have to ask Yarir, but let's back up. He got a lot of credit for that, but let's back up because there was something else, and a lot of people missed it, okay? At one point in this fight... See if you can imagine this in your minds. Yarir is up against the fence. His back is against the fence. There is separation, though. Zombie is about four to five feet away from him in separation and comes running at him, jumps into the air for a flying knee. If you guys are fighters, you will know what I mean. But even if you were just listeners and casual fans, certainly you can picture that if you were standing somewhere and you got... The Korean zombie running at you, jumping up off the ground and throwing one of his knees directly at your face, this isn't great for you. I have been in that spot on both sides of it, offensively going for that technique, defensively defending it. I have seen it a number of times, and basically it it, it really only goes one of three ways. You either take the shot and hope that you can absorb it, you throw something back while he's doing the knee, and we've uh, we've seen tit for tat on that. Sometimes a guy gets punched because he's vulnerable, but he also lands the knee. It's even Steven. And sometimes we've seen guys jump up in the air, get caught, and get knocked out. I generally will either cover, take it, and then hope to change this immediately into a takedown while that guy is still in the air. Or I will come right through it, take it, but then go get the takedown. Either way, I take the shot. The reason I take it, I don't know what else to do. Well, I do now because Yair Rodriguez offered option number four. If you missed this in the fight and you are a fighter, you must go back and watch it. Let's work through this one more time. Yair is standing. There is separation. Zombie comes running at him, jumps into the air. Guess what Yair did, guys? Yair jumped into the air. (laughs) When Zombie left the ground... To gain elevation, to come flying into Yarir's face with his knee, Yarir sees him coming and jumps straight up himself. Now all of a sudden, his face isn't there. It's a foot in the air. Yarir throws a year, or rather, a zombie throws an air ball. The whole thing lasted less than a tenth of a second. I mean, it's a guy jumping up in the ground. He comes right back to earth. F- fist fight resumes. Never seen it. Your rear deserves credit, but the rest of us need to learn from that. I'll tell you another big winner that night. A big winner that night, and it's not, not his first time hitting a home run. But a big winner was Paul Felder. Paul Felder is so good. I would have never thought, if you would have rewound the tape before Paul Felder got into announcing, I never would have thought, hey, you know who you really need on your announce team? It's Paul Felder guy. I just wanted to thought that. That wasn't a skill that I thought he had. Paul Felder's smooth, though. First off, he's got a good voice. Second, he's got a good look, right? Looks very nice in a suit, looks nice on camera, looks commanding. He's respectful of the athletes. He knows what he's looking at, but he never is lacking in opinion. He's able to see something. He's able to say something. He's able to call what he sees, but he is also able to predict what the athlete is going to do. That's a rare, very rare and unique skill set, and I think that Paul Felder deserves us to say that about him. I know you guys have been enjoying him. I see what the kids on the underground say. Because I, like every other fighter, go to the underground every single day. And you guys give him his due and you guys got that one right. 